Okay, on number 24, it says the fraction of a city's population infected by a flu virus is plotted as a function of time and weeks. It says which quantities are represented by the slopes of lines A and B, and they want you to estimate the slopes. Okay, so if we look at line A, we can notice that it's a secant line going through the two points um, for about mm, 0.19 and 6, maybe 0.28. So a this um, a is the uh, line um, passing through the points four one point nine I'm just approximating that and six uh, two point say what did I say two point eight. And then its slope is the average rate of change from, um, let's see, four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. So I'll just say four to six weeks. And you can actually compute that slope. That's going to be the slope of the secant line, which is going to be the average rate of change. So you would do um, the slope is equal to 2.8 minus 1.9 divided by 6 minus 4. So on your calculator, you can do that. So 2.8 minus 1.9 and then you're going to divide that by 6 minus 4, I'm going to go ahead and do is 2. So it's 0.45. And that's um, the amount affected per week, uh, the fraction affected per week. And then um, B, line B right here, that's the instantaneous rate of change at um, week 6 instantaneous because it's the tangent line it's just barely touching at week six rate of change at week six okay so now part b then says is the flu spreading more rapidly at t oh i'm sorry before i do that it says estimate the slope of b so you kind of have to just guess it looks like at two weeks, you're at that um, kind of the same place you were at four weeks. At two weeks, it looks like you're at um, uh, uh, um, the 1.9. And then at six weeks, you're at the uh, 2.8. So really, um, we could say at two weeks, so we're at the point two. 1.9 and then now uh, 6 2.8 so if you type that into your calculator if I just do second enter I can edit and all I have to change here is the denominator which is going to be 4 now and so I have a, a, a lower slope 0.225 is the slope at of B so the slope of B is equal to 0.225. I just found that 2.8 minus 1.9 divided by 6 minus 2. And so you can see it's a smaller slope. It's not growing as quickly. So now if the question is, is the flu spreading, spreading more rapidly at t equals 1, t equals 2, or t equals 3? You can kind of eyeball this. You just want to see when is the line, the tangent line, the most steep. It's definitely steeper at 2 than it is at 1, but I think it's kind of probably the most steep at 3 weeks. So I would say um, at 3 weeks, and then um, and then at 4, and then at 5 and 6, it starts to kind of plane off, so it's going to spread more rapidly. It's actually steeper at 4 than it is at 5 or 6. You can see that it's kind of getting slower, so this it's more rapidly at 4 weeks. It's just looking at imagining how steep the slopes are. It, it seems to be most steep here at three. And then at four, it's steeper than it is at five or six. So that's why we.